Hi everyone, my name is Tasha and in this video I want to talk about the books that I read during Diversathon. Diversathon is a readathon that took place in the previous week. There wasn't a goal to read a certain amount of books, just to read diversely. During Diversathon I finished three books and I've also started to, didn't finish them during Diversathon, still gonna finish them and also still going to make an effort to read diversely because I realized that even though I wanted to read diverse, I haven't been putting as much effort into actually searching out diverse books and I really want to do that a lot more now. The first book I finished during Diversathon wasn't actually on my Diversathon TBR, but just on my general September TBR, and that was Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Allier Science. I've been listening to this audiobook since July and I finally finished it last week. I did enjoy it, but it didn't have that certain punch in the heart like it did for so many other people. And I think the problem was the way I read this or that I listened to it. Because it took me so long to listen to the audiobook, I wasn't really invested in the characters and the story. So I only gave this three stars, but I do appreciate how diverse it is. It had it features Mexican American characters and gay characters and it talks a lot about like friendship and the family aspect is really really awesome in this book. So I can appreciate that this is a good book, but I think I'm gonna have to reread it and actually read a physical book of this and see if I like it better then. The next book I read was The Star Touch Queen by Roshni Chachki. This is a YA fantasy book that is inspired by Indian folklore slash mythology. The characters are people of color, so that was pretty great. I absolutely loved Roshni Chachki's writing. It is so it was so beautiful and descriptive, and I could picture everything so good, like the way she described everything. But for probably 60% of this book, I had no idea what was going on. I was so confused, like, constantly. I I'm, I wouldn't be able to actually summarize things that happened in this book because I literally have no idea what happened, but I still enjoyed reading this. I don't know, I'm very confused. I gave this three stars because I loved the writing and how diverse the book was, but the plot, I'm very confused by the plot, so... I, I couldn't give this more stars. I do intend to reread this book probably before the second one comes out, which is, I think, like a companion book. But nonetheless, I want to reread this when that other book comes out and see if I understand things a bit better. Because I was so confused by most things, I wasn't too invested in like the characters and things that happened. Did I mention what this was about? The main character, Maya, her dad also the the ruler of this kingdom wants him to wants my he wants maya to kill herself to avoid war but then she runs off and marries this random guy and stays with him in his kingdom slash palace weird things happen very confusing things happen there's also magic involved i, I just don't know what happened but I still enjoyed this book. I'm so confused, I don't know what to say about it. And then I also read Every Heart a Doorway by Shauna McGuire. This is a... I would describe it as magical realism. So this book follows children that have been to other worlds, for example Wonderland and Narnia, and this book follows them as they attend this boarding school, which is supposed to help them adjust to the normal world again and accept that they're not going back to those other worlds because most kids want to go back to those worlds because they feel like that's their home. And we mainly follow this girl, Nancy, who got back from this kind of underworld and she really wants to go back because it felt like her home, but she can't and she's at the school because her parents think she needs help. I loved this book from start to finish which wasn't much because this was only like 170 pages. I would have loved so much more of this. I could have read like 100, 200 more pages. I thought this was such an interesting concept. Obviously, since I read this for Diversathon, this was also a diverse book. We had an asexual main character 
a transgender side character, some people of color, a Japanese girl, a Latino. Loved the concept, loved the characters. There was also a mystery involved, I guess. I gave this 4.5 stars. My only complaint was that it was really short and I would have loved more. Um, for example, I think the boarding school in general could have been explored a bit more and just... I don't know, like expanding the storyline. I already looked up what the second book is about and it follows characters that did appear in this but what happened to them before this book. And then the third book takes place after the events of this book and I'm actually more excited for that third book because the ending, oh my god, I need to know what happens. I also started two books which I didn't finish during Diversathon. One of those books was We Awakened by Callista Lynn, and this also features a asexual main character, which is why I was mainly attracted to it upon starting this book. I also found out that another character in this book is a person of color, which is also great. Um, actually, both those characters are asexual, and in this book we follow Victoria. Her dad and her brother had an accident in which her dad died and her brother is in a coma, and she is visited by this mysterious girl called Ashlyn. She's visited by her in her dream, and Ashlyn tells her that she talked to her brother, in his dreams, I guess, and that's how these two girls connect. I'm about 60% through this book at the moment. I don't know, it's it's okay. I mean, it's great that it features asexuality and a person of color. And the other book that I started is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. I've only read the first chapter, so I can't say too much about this, but so far it's quite intriguing. This follows a Chinese-American family as one of the children, the daughter, ends up dead. So that was my wrap-up for Diversathon. I would love to know if you participated and what books you read. That was it for this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!